Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inshallah, today we'll be going over lesson number seven, or this is our seventh lesson. And uh, in it, inshallah, we'll go over some revision, module number one, module number two, and inshallah, we'll finish off module number two today, bi-idhnillah. Brother Alam Ghir, as you can see uh, on page number 18, where they tell us about the goals for the student, the things that the student needs to achieve or learn in the module. Uh, please begin with module number one. You learned how to greet somebody and how to introduce yourself and others and how to ask about a person's country and their nationality as well as their name. Uh, please start. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. alhamdulillah. Wa kayfa haluka anta? Bikhairim wa alhamdulillah. Min aina anta? أنا من زيمبابوي ومن أين أنت؟ أنا من تركيا من تركيا ما شاء الله وما no no problem practice so the country Turkey and the nationality is Turkey وما جنسيتك؟ أنا من تركيا أنا أنا من تركيا أنا من تركيا أنا تركي أحسنت Um, use the words هذا and هذه in a sentence tell me that yeah. this is the house okay um, bait is house هذا هو البيت okay and tell me هذا هو البيت احسنت okay هذا هذا هو البيت احسنت and if you if you wanted to say this is my house what would you say هذا هذه اوكي ماينا هذا هو البيت اور ال تيتش سي هذا بيتي ال تيتش ذات هذا بيتي اند اوف ذا ليسن ام جوينت تو جو ثرو ذات ان شاء الله ا ذن وي لانت وات از هل مين ا وير اين از وي ان هل از لايك اسكي ار ار يا ار يو اس هل اين there's one word I never teach you here, mihan or mihna, that's like a job, okay? And you got module number two, you had uh, getting to know the extended family, the family, and their roles, their jobs. Tell me, uh, how do you say his father? Um, um, tell me what's his father. Hada Waliduhu. Hada Waliduhu. Uthman. Ahsan. This is his father, Uthman. Yeah. And how do you say this is his mother, Fatima? Hadi he Walidatuhu Fatima. Ahsan. You learned about that. What's uh, uh, uncle and aunt? هذا عمه عثمان هذه عمته عثمان عمته the feminine name رقية خديجة عائشة anyway رقية رقية أحسنت well done yeah. uh, what you've got to remember is عم and عمة is referring to uh, the father's side so your father's brother is عم your father's sister is عمة as for your mother's side your mother's brother is خال and your uh, Mother's sister is Khala. We haven't yet taken that, but you can bear it yeah. in mind. Then we learned how to ask questions. Al istifham means to ask questions. You learned with man. Man means who. So, for example, when you say man yeah. hada, man hadihi. Okay. Yeah. And then aina means where. And we took that. Then we took athradul al aila. Ba'dul amakin fil bayti wa kharijahu. Tell me some of the rooms in the house, their, their names. What's uh, kitchen? Have we taken kitchen? Uh, we haven't taken kitchen, but we know the room uh, and or the living room. Okay. Al Ghurfa. Ghain, huh? Gha. Ghurfa. Not Ghurfa. Al Ghurfa. Uh, tell me that uh, Saida is in the room. Saida to fill Ghurfa. And tell me 
Saad is in the bathroom. Saad fil hammami. Tell me he's making the wadda. Well done. Excellent. So that was a quick overview, quick revision. Then you can see me skipping through the pages here. That's module one. I want to get to module two here. And let's just go through it quickly. We learned Jad, Jadda. Tell me in English quickly. Jad. Uh, uh, grandfather. Grandfather Jadda. Jadda. And uh, brother. Akhi. Ach, brother. Akhi, my brother. Akhuhu, his brother. Yeah. Hit for that. What's a teacher? Um, Al Mualim. Mualim? Mualim. As well. Mualim, Ustad, Mudaris, all of them come. And when you go to the universities, a person who's got a PhD, they call him Doctor. 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 Sad. Uh, then you go, we went over all this. Right. Without reading uh, the words, tell me about these pictures. Give a name to the person. Tell me what they're doing and where they are. Okay. Um, Saad fil hammam. Saad fil hammam. Yatawabbao. Ahsan. Um, Saeed. Saeed fil ghurfati. Yaqra'u al-Quran. Are you looking in the words? Sorry? Are you, are, you, are you reading through the role play? No, I, I remember them because oh, you remember before them? the lecture I was revising. Oh, yeah. Well done. Those yeah. few Sorry minutes before, for yeah. everyone following, those few minutes before the lecture, two, three minutes before, as well as two, three minutes after, inshallah, you'll find that most of what you learn will stick with you. That's the best time to revise. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to be too strict on your tanween. Tanween means two fatha, two kasra, two dhamma. Yes, sa'idun, sa'idatun. You learn later on at times where uh, there's only one dhamma and why. For now, we're not going into that, but just so you bear it in mind. Okay. And for example, yeah. um, uh, the father is asking, um, Aynal, Aynal Nyarapapu. Um, so mi'taf is mudhakkar there's no ta so hadha huwa al yeah that's why huwa yeah and wa ayna al nadhara hadhihi hiya al nadharatu well done count from 1 to 10 from 10 to 1 backwards yeah. go backwards oh 10 9 8 6 no. Okay. What's seven? Oh, seven. Um, seven. Seven. Okay. 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 Well done. Mashallah. Excellent. Excellent. You're picking up. We did these yesterday. They were teaching you about fee. Fee means inside. Fil Ghurfa, Fil Hammam, Fil Musalla. We took that. Uh, did we take this? Man Hada, Hada Walid Adnan, who are Muhandis. They were just giving you the words and they wanted you. Yeah, I think we, I think we took we this one. Went through it, yeah. We, we didn't read it, but like it was the same in the soft, yeah. Okay, so let's finish this exercise. It's just more practice. Okay. Can I read? Please. I'll ask you. I'll say, Man uh, Hada. Okay, you're on the page next page. Yeah. Um, uh, you're on the page. Sorry, I'm, I'm extending the page. Should be page number uh, 65, I believe. Yeah, okay, I got it here. Yeah. Uh, but this mm -hmm. is a different picture. I'm on page number 60. 66. No, 60. 60. Okay. 60, yeah, 60. Yeah. Okay. Please ask. 
من هذا؟ هذا والدي عدنان ومهندس من هذا؟ هذا هذا عمي عمر هذا عمي عمر ومدرس ومن هذا؟ هذا جدي سالم هو طبيب أحسنت ومن هذا؟ هذا أخي صالح هو طالب ومن هذا؟ هذا صديقي علي هو معلم Ahsan, well done. And then here they want to teach you. In fact, we actually took this. Walidi, my father. Now they're teaching how to say his father. So tell me, tell me about. Uh, go through them. Tell me, uh, what does it? Uh, tell me uh, with the example of saying my father, then say his father. My aunt, his aunt. My mother, his mother, etc. Okay. Uh, okay, Mark. Hada. هذا والدي نور ولي هذا والده عثمان احسنت هذا و... هذا والدي هذا والد والدي هذه والدتي ه... يا هذه والدتي أ... عبد الله you know any feminine name هذه والدتي عائشه اه بك يا But but if I have to say yeah, my my mother, ha hadihi walidit walidatihi walidati and wali walidati yeah man yeah walidati yeah yeah ha hadihi walidati okay for the feminine for the feminine hadihi walidatihi hadihi walidati you 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 you've got to make up your mind. The word is walida mother. Either you're saying my mother, walidati, or you're saying his mother, walidatuhu. You can't have wa walidatihi. Wa yes, yes, yes. I mean, you, you... yeah. I'm doing mistake. Yes, okay. Hadihi walidatuhu. Aisha. Sand. Hadihi. Uh, Hadihi ammuhu. هذه عمته عائشة. سند. هو مهندسة. هي مهندسة. Just go 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 with what's in the book. So. Okay, sorry. أخت سلمى. Tell me his sister سلمى. هذه هذه أخت هذه ب. أخته. والبيس أخته يا يا بيكس يا. You, you know why, when is Fatha, when is Lama, etc. But for Havihi Uhtuhu. Yeah. When we use Ha, Uhtaha, do we use also Uhtaha? We, we'll get there. Uh, ha means her, and Hu means okay. his. Okay. Havihi Uhtuhu Salma. Excellent. Um, هذا عمه عثمان هذا ابنه علي هذه عمته عائشة هذا هذا صديقي أو أوكي هذا صديق هذا صديقه هذا صديقي أحمد صديقي هذا صديقي يا معي and his هو يا هذا صديقه أحمد سنت ويل دان Then we took these yesterday. We just skimmed through these very fast. But here they're teaching you how to use the word Aina. So you're asking about anything. This is one of your keywords. Aina al-mi'atafu. Aina al-awladu. Aina al-nadharatu. Aina sa'idun. Aina al-sayyaratu, etc. So Aina, if you want, uh, you can write the meaning there. Is way. Then man means who. Man hadha, man hadhihi. means who is this and who is this for feminine man anta who are you man anti man who are man here then you've got here uh, they teaching you how to uh, say somebody is doing an action as for she notice how you've got the same root word we're going to get into this so don't worry about it uh, 
you've got this word here, tawadda'a, and here tawadda'a, if you skip this first letter, it's the same. When you're using for masculine, for him, you put a ya at the beginning, so ya tawadda'u, and for this one you say tatawadda'u because it's feminine. For salah, you've got the root word, or the word that doesn't change here is salli, and if you're going to say for a man, you salli with a ya, for a woman, tu salli uh, with a ta, and he's referring to he and she. As for uh, you, masculine and feminine, and I, it would change. Again, yaqra'u uh, comes from qara'a. Oh, don't worry, we'll get into it. So look, the qafra and alif are the same in both, but if it's masculine, huwa yaqra'u, he is reading, and feminine, hiya taqra'u, with a ta. So I want you to just bear that in mind, that when you're saying him, you're going to be using a ya, and this is to do with verbs. And when you're saying she, you'll be using a ta, and again, this is to do with verbs. Number four, they taught you how to use the word fi, which means inside. Sa'idun fil masjidi, sa'idatun fil musalla, fil ghurfati, fil hammami, etc. Then you got hadha and goes with huwa because both are masculine and because the word here is masculine, so there's no ta marbuta. So hadha huwa al mi'tafu. And the minute you got a ta at the end, it's feminine, so you use hadhihi and here, and that we also took in the first module. And then here they taught you how to uh, say this is mine and this is his. So هذا والدي عمار and هذا والده his father عمار هذا جدي my grandfather هذا جده هذا عمي هذا عمه Notice all these words here are masculine so you're using هذا. Then the next words are feminine so you're using هذه and you've got walidati, my mother. Walidatuhu, his mother. Jaddati, jaddatuhu, ammati, ammatuhu, etc. We practiced on all those. This is good for revision. Then huwa, again, you're using the word he when it's uh, masculine. Tabibun, mudarrisun, muhandisun, talibun, tabibun, doctor. Then here, you just add a ta to make it feminine. Here, tabibatun, or mudarrisatun, muhandisatun, talibatun. Then you read these for us yesterday. MashaAllah. Excellent. Then you've got a listening exercise. You've got another listening exercise. Again, for those who want to go through the listening exercise, the tapes are there. Uh, but if you've gone through it like this, inshallah, it should be fine. Now, uh, let's go through this exercise. Uh, this is conversing. I think we also went through it, but we rushed through. So we'll go through it again. I'm going to ask you, Aina Ahmad, Aina Fatima, Aina Badrun, Aina Zainab, Aina Adilu. And you're going to tell me, Ahmadu, for example, fil masjidi yusalli. And notice how on Ahmad, you're not saying Ahmadun. There's no tanween. It is Ahmadu. So for now, what I want you to bear in mind is that most letters, most words, most names will have tanween. There are a few exceptions to the rule that won't take tanween, and we'll take those exceptions. Called mamnu' min as -sarf. For now, don't worry about it. For now, you're just learning how to speak. And even if it's a little bit broken, it's fine. So let me ask you, Aina Fatima to Fatima to fill Musalla to Sully. Ahsant. So notice how you said in the Musalla using fi. And because she's feminine, you said to Sully with a ta. If it was masculine, you would have said you Sully, like how you said with Ahmed. So notice that difference. Aina Badrun Badrun fill baiti yatawabau. Sans of Badr is a name, huh? Aina Zainabu. Zainabu Zainabu fil Hurfati Takra ul Takra ul Quran. Ahsan, notice the ta because it's feminine. Wa aina adilu. Adilu fil masjidi yakra ul Quran. Ahsan, well done. And you got Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam. Ma havihi havihi suratu ahi huwa muhandis, mashallah. You did that and that was straightforward yesterday. Uh, did we take this yesterday? Hada Walidi Ali, who are Muhandis. This is just more practice again. Uh, make sentences out of all these. Let's see. Okay. Hada Hada Walidi Hada Walidi Ali, who are Muhandisun. Hadi he Walida to Hadi he Walida to Fatija. No, so we're speaking about you're saying, you're saying my mother. Tell me. Hadi he. Oh, sorry. Okay. 
Say my son. Yeah, we're using yeah. Hada ibni. Hada ibni. Hada ibni badr. Badr. Wa talibun. Hada ibnatuhu. Ibnati. My. Nada. My. Hada ibnati. Nada. Ya talibatun. Hada. Hada ammi. Hamza. Ya. Wa talibun. Okay, so well done. You got it right. Notice how the word Hamza, I'm talking about the word Hamza, got a ta. However, because you're referring to masculine, it's a man's name, you're going to use uh, Hada and Hua. Okay? Because it's a man's name. You'll get used to it. These things just take time. Then you got Man Hada, Hada Ahmadu, Man Hada, Hada Masjidun. Notice how they want you to realize that some things, this is called the mamnu' min as sarf Some of them have only one dhamma. You can't say ahmadun and you learn why. And hadha masjidun, here you can say. So the default is to have tanween. And uh, some some words do not take tanween. So man hadha, hadha ahmadu. Woman hadhihi, hadhihi zainabu. No tanween. No double. Tanween means double. Uma hadha, hadha masjidun. وَمَا هَذِهِ هَذِهِ صُورَةٌ Also notice how when you are speaking about a person, you use the word man, who. And when you are speaking about an inanimate object, so something that's not a person, you said ma. You see that? So when you refer to a person, ma, man, and something that's not a person, inanimate, ma. Okay? So I'm going to ask you, and you're going to say. So I'm going to say, man هَذِهِ Mm, the first one, the picture. Oh. Yes, tell me. Havihi Layla. Okay. Yeah. Havihi Layla. Ascent. Now, uh, in, uh, ask me the question here for three. What are you going to say? Ma hada. Ma havihi because shajaratun is feminine. So havihi. Ma havihi havihi shajaratun. Next one. Man hada. Send Hada Umaru next. Ma Hadihi Hadihi Sura to Usrati. Next. Ma Hada Hada Hamamun Man Hada Hada Aliyun Ma Hada. هذا قرآن من هذه هذه فاطمة and you've got some more practice uh, هذا جدي عمار وهذه جدتي آمنة so you're going to tell me هذا جدي عمار وهذه جدتي آمنة next one والدا والدتي they're basically getting you to practice هذا and هذه. So notice how there's so much practice, but they want it to become second nature to you. A lot of times people, they want to learn something new, new, new without practicing. And that's uh, that's incorrect because you're supposed to master that which you've learned. You must never, ever feel tired when it comes to revision. Yeah. Carry on. Should I read? Walid and Walida. Let's go. Okay. Hada Walidi Ahmad Bahadihi Walidati Zainab. Zainab. Next. Bahada Ibni Ali Bahadi Ibnati Abala. Next. Hada Ahi Omar Bahadihi Ukti Huda. Hada Ami Muad. وَهَذِهِ عَمَّتِي عَزِيزَةِ 
Then you got Ajib Anil Asilati Talia. That you're going to ask about the family tree of the Messenger of Allah, alayhi wa sallam. Answer with one word. Man wali, or answer in a full sentence, in fact. Man walidur Rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then you answer walidur Rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fulan ibn Fulan. Okay. Walidur Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abdullah. Ahsan. Or you can say waliduhu Abdullah. Man walidatur Rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Walidati Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amina. You're going to say walidatuhu or you're going to say walidatur rasuli. One of the two. But not walidati. Yeah. Say walidatuhu. Walid, walidatuhu amina. Sant. Man jaddur rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jadduhu abdul mutlib. Sant. Man ammur rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amhur Amuhu Any name. Amuhul Abbas. Sant. Amuhul Yeah. Man Man ibn Rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Name one. Ibnuhu Abdullah. Sant. Wa man Man ibn Rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ibnatuhu Fatima. Sant. Man waliduka. Um, I think we the car is used for um you. Okay, yeah, yeah. So my response should be um Wariduka Durwali. If I ask you in English, who is your father? What do you say? My father. My father. So here, Man Waliduka, who is your father? Walidi. Walidi is. Yes. Walidi Nur Wali. Ahsan. Man Jadduka. Jaddi Qasim. Uh, Ahsan. Man Ammuka. Ammi Ahmad. Ahsan. Man Sadiquka. Sadiqi Aghirfanullah. MashaAllah. They just want you to read through this. So read through and tell me their meanings. Walid, father. Walidatu, mother. Akh, brother. Ukht, sister. Ibn, son. Ibnat, Ibnata. Ibnatu. Uh, daughter. Ibnatu, daughter. Am, uncle. Ammatu. Auntie, Jad, grandfather, Jadda, grandmother, Shajawa, tree, Usra, family. Excellent, well done. And Sil Baina Kulli Kalimatain, look, Kalimatain, two, two words, Mutatabiqatain, which means the words which are uh, exactly the same. Notice how they join between Yaqra'u, Yaqra'u, then Yusalli, you find here Yusalli that you can fill in. Then some more exercises, take the odd one out. يجانب الكلمة المختلفة في كل مجموعة مجموعة means a group so والدة is the odd one out هي جدة etc and you do that هذا هو المهندس هذه هي المهندسة هذا هو المهندس again you're looking at the odd one out يقرأ القرآن تقرأ القرآن يقرأ القرآن looking at the odd one out انظر واستمع وقرأ look and listen and read هذا عمه أحمد هو مهندس we went through this عثمان عثمان في المسجد يقرأ القرآن هذا أذان الفجر هيا بنا إلى المسجد فاطمة في الغرفة تصلي محمود في البيت يتوضأ هذا أخي عمار هو معلم أحسن صل بين الجملتين المتطابقتين جملتين means the two sentences which are the same متطابقتين then you've got some writing practice they want to teach you a little bit about با تا and those are all words you are practicing your ba on. Notice how they teach you here. Write it with a dot, write it with a dot, and you carry on. Ba and tha and fill that in. And you got some words after that. Some more practice. Uh, again, more practice and more practice there. Writing practice again. Uh, 
علامة الصح أمام الكلمة التي فيها الحرف من طاء so here صلى there is no طاء so you would put an X there these are all writing exercises understanding then you've got here اختبر نفسك which means test yourself I would uh, I would encourage you to go through this exam so this is module one and two ضع الكلمات كلمات الآتية في مكانها المناسب من الجدول so you're going to put here بلد so notice how the main heading is بلد then name different countries from there ضمير is uh, أنا أنت etc and we're still going to go through them رقم number أسرة family family member مكان place مهنة is your uh, job occupation أكمل means to complete الجمل بالكلمات التالية so uh, complete the sentences with the following words then you got put an X on الكلمة uh, الغريبة which literally means uh, the odd one out the strange one then you got here صحيح الأخطاء صحيح الأخطاء في الكلمات التي تحتها خطوط خطوط means lines so it says correct the mistake of the word that has a line under it so you've got هذه هو النظارة so why is it a mistake there because النظارة is feminine so you say هذه هي النظارة صل أداة الاستفهام أداة الاستفهام means the words used for questioning so you've got من هل أين ما كيف من أين those are the ones we've taken من هو هل is أين where ما what كيف how من أين where from where then you got اختر الكلمة الكلمة الصحيحة choose the correct so is this هذا صورة أسرتي أو هذه صورة أسرتي and that would be module number two there's four minutes left there's one thing I wanted to show you the end of the book here page 250 something page 200 and something let me get to it this is the one here this is all the vocabulary that you've taken so here is module number one you've got the vocab it's going according to alphabetical order so look at how you got ithnan you took which means two ach brother or sister arba etc you went through all of this kaifa halu kaifa kaifa halu kathin la all this we'll go through inshallah in more detail but you've taken it uh, module number two you learned the family and you've got all this and where is this there's one two i want to touch on or maybe inshallah in the next lesson we'll go through them in a bit more detail but look at this wow is used for atf atf means to join so you say wa and Wahada, wahada, and this is, and this is, and this is. Ya, ya al mutakallim used for the speaker to say my, so my house, bayti. Then ya al nisba is used when you're telling Zimbabwe, Turki, etc., where they're from. And uh, you've got ya al mukhataba, we'll go into that, inshallah. Module number two, you took, uh, you learned about verbs, you took ha al ghaib, where you're referring to he. And you took uh, so the, this this ha weighs, uh, for example, kitabu hu, and kitabu ha is for uh, feminine, and ya and nida is to call ya, ya saeed, ya fulan, ya fulan, etc. Inshallah, tomorrow, uh, hopefully in the beginning, we'll go through, uh, we'll open the whiteboard and we'll go through a little bit of an introduction to. Uh, nouns and verbs a little bit of grammar from what we've taken so far and then we move on to module three inshallah by the end of the book book a has about i think eight modules and that's book one a then there's you got book one b as another about eight i think uh after that you'll have a very good idea very good understanding of the words and that and then we will go into detail when it comes to nahu uh nahu which is grammar and uh, I'll probably teach you from the book uh, al ajur Rumiya, which is a book written in Nahu. Even though there are a lot of grammatical rules here, but from there it's more structured, it's uh, specifically for Nahu, inshallah. Anything you'd like to mention? There's two minutes left. Any question, anything? No question. Thank no. you. Barakallah. Like we'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Bi amanillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.